<laughs> on the bright side, now we got a really nice match coming up. We have Raffi versus XL. All right, for the rematch in Losers Finals. Losers Finals. Let's go. Uh, best 05. Yep. All right, XL with the uh, the slow walk up. Always a classic option. Hey, it's an intimidation factor if it works. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Open. Sometimes you just gotta walk up slowly and down smash. Alright? It's a good option. Oh, Rafi wow. with the edge pressure. Uh, absolutely keeping XL off stage. Ooh. This is, uh, yeah. XL almost having limit built. Which he's gonna have at any moment now. Um, and actually in the lead damage wise. So XL not in as bad a position as. It initially looked here in this matchup, yeah. but, uh... Well, I feel like Rob can easily exploit, uh, Cloud's recovery. I mean, obviously without limit, but just a nair off stage or placing Gyro at ledge, couldn't that just give him like that? Yeah, it's... I mean... Oh, oh God, XL. XL, two dunks. Two dunks and two sets. With a wave bounce. Yep. Holy crap. Um... But yeah, this, uh, Rob is definitely not as bad versus Cloud as some other characters, but it's still not great. That disjoint is painful and heavy, and uh, Rob's weight helps him to survive things like finishing touch and cross slash a good amount, but not a ridiculous amount. Yeah, that only lasts so long until yeah. there's something left. Okay. Right, fair, but it gives him limit. So uh, XL is back on stage. And into beep boop. Into beep boop. Ooh, oh, no, he gets on the down air. Uh, Rafi was anticipating the air dodge there and went for the weight, and it cost him the punish. That'll be it. Nair. Oh, oh, no, never mind. Rafi with the good DI. That'll do it. That'll do it. There we go. Two stock from XL. Firing back after what happened in, the, in their winner's oh, semi set. And XL takes game one. I also feel like a mob. Smash Will Made wasn't the best choice for a first stage because. Cloud Sword actually benefits way more on this stage than it would on, say, like, uh... Well, they're Rafi going back. They're it's going back. Rafi's choice. And maybe he prefers this stage, but yeah. matchup-wise, it doesn't make too, too much sense. Yeah, see, I, th I mean, I'm going to assume that XL banned Town and City. Uh... Because, I mean, why would you risk that against Rob? Yeah. So, I mean, in that case, Rob... Probably... I mean, I guess FD might be the better option. Um, uh, just because platforms are very helpful for Cloud. Cloud likes Battlefield. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the FD might have been a better option, but I think Rafi just feels most comfortable here, and, like, this is what he wants. He want he honestly does like the Smash Bowl platform, because he can both snipe people who are camping on it with laser, because it's angleable, and also snipe from there. So, like, the Smash Bowl platform honestly benefits him no matter who is using it. So, you know, it's not a bad stage for Rob. It's just that it's also not a bad stage for Cloud. Yeah. And he's looking for another spike. Not quite going to get it, though. Sour spot's way, <laughs> way more prominent than that sweet spot. Yep. Uh, dead even right now. This is anyone's game at this point. Uh, Rafi maintaining stage control, but XL has limit on deck. So that could change in an instant. Like it is right now. Wow, that's actually a really good air dodge. Yeah. That nair would have sent him at a really bad position. That's something that Rafi is very, very good at, is knowing when he's in the air, when to air dodge, and when to kind of goose the up B as, a, as like, a stay-away option. Yeah. Like how Sonic, a, a lot of lower-level Sonics will spam up B just as, like, oh, hey, this is a free get-out-of-jail-free card. Like, you can't do anything to me because I can up B out of it. Um, and Rafi has something similar when he's recovering, like, when he's landing. But, ooh, that's... Not gonna take the stock, there's that heavy Rob boys. Um, but yeah, like Rafi's just very, very good about knowing like when is a good opportunity to goose the up B to bait out their jumps and when it's better to just air dodge or fastball. Yeah. Ooh, falling back air, gonna take it. XL up two stocks once again. Yeah, I gotta have to burn through that though. Yeah, XL choosing to waste his limit instead of trying to recover onto the stage into the gyro. Not necessarily a bad option. XL is very good at charging limit, but it gets him punished. We're back to an even game. All right, and he was really pushing for that cross slash two for a second. Uh, 
Ooh, Raffy. Looking a little shaken, throwing out projectiles in the wrong direction. <laughs> Definitely playing a little too safe against a Cloud who loves to charge limit. Up air does 12% when it's on stale. 12%? That is actually ridiculous. A dozen percent. Buy a carton of eggs worth of percent with that. Alright, Raffy going for the double beat boot does not get it. Uh, limit is on deck. Not a whole lot of rage though, so it's not going to kill yet. Another 20 or 30% on Raffy though, and a cross less than the edge will do it. Never. Ooh, alright, catches him through the stage with up B. Um, not a bad trade for XL, all things considered, because honestly, both of them gaining damage benefits XL more. Because uh, they're. Like, he is in beat boop percent right now, no matter what. So yeah. him gaining damage is kind of irrelevant. See, here comes the beat boop. And there we go. Uh, whereas, uh, him gaining damage builds rage, which means he's going to kill Rob earlier. Not to mention both dealing and taking damage also charges up limit faster, so it's... Yeah. But a double-edged sword, this is like... <laughs> <laughs> it's like a four-edged sword, there we and go. three of them are facing at Raffi. Um, but yeah, it's... That, that's one of, one of the kind of silver linings that a cloud has. Haha, -ha, see what I did there? Um, of fighting against Rob and other characters like DK as well. Where, like, you don't fall out of their beep boop ding dong percents for a while, especially if you have limit, which make, makes you heavier. Um, so gaining damage just builds rage for you. It, like, like, taking lasers and gyros and stuff, as long as you're not compromising neutral, it just makes your knockback better. Yeah. Which is one of the reasons why people hate rage in this game. And he was really looking for that forward smash. And that green Cloud should have a gun that kills anyone in one hit. Okay, hero. Alright, whatever, hero. Cloud does have a gun that kills everybody in one hit. It's called Side B. Did you just glide toss a gyro? Yeah, and then the, the four glory roll situation going on there. But, uh, alright, so XL taking control of this match. Ooh! And he burns through limit. Yeah, too. see, that was that was one of those situations where I'm saying, like, you want to recover a low against Cloud, but be aware that runoff stage reverse side B is a thing. And that is exactly what XL went for, and Raffy responded correctly so that he did not get hit by it and blew the limit. Like, he, Raffy could not have hoped for a better outcome of that encounter. Yeah. All right, XL, back to the ledge. Uh, still charging. charging limit. Yep. <laughs> And this is the same situation we dealt with with Shampoo Master, where, you know, Cloud can keep just throwing you off stage and you keep getting grabbed by him. Ooh, that was an excellent job by Raffy to uh, throw out the gyro to intercept the neutral B. I don't know if that was intentional or if he was just throwing out gyro anyway, but we take those. Yeah. Alright, so looks to me like XL is in really no hurry to try and like, make a too big of an advance on Raffy. Up, up, dash yeah, test going to take it. Um, yeah, exactly. Like I said, it's he's in beep boop position, so running in recklessly could get him grabbed, which is going to cost the stock. And when you're in that position where you your opponent's almost at double your damage, you don't want to do anything that risks you dying and losing that lead. Yeah. Uh, beep boop, but no rage. If uh, up, up, oh up smash will do it, just raw up smash to the platform. That's another thing Raffy likes about Smashville is the... The fact that that platform is there is the perfect height to get uh, up smash through. Carries his opponents to their death. Yep. Oh, that's gonna rack on a little damage. Yeah, I I'm a big uh, proponent of non-limit cross slash. I think it's a very good underrated move. Like, yes, you have to commit to it, but it's so much damage. Yeah, for what it is, it's actually pretty good. Yeah, it's it's a solidly powerful move. Very few characters can actually get out of it. Like, I think Marth can up B out of it. Greninja can Shadow Sneak. There's a couple of others. Ooh, throws out the Cross Slash with no hesitation, but misses. And that would have been it, too. That was Cross Slash toward the ledge. Yeah. I think that if that was a down air, I would have just sealed that stock right there. Maybe yeah, he didn't want to I, commit to it. I, I don't think he was properly positioned for the down air. I think he would have... Oh, well, up air will do it. <laughs> That's, uh, poke him right off the top. Always in proper position for the up air. <laughs> All right, so that's now three three games in a row we've gone to Smashville. Let's see if Raffy chooses to mix it up, if he thinks he can get a better stage out of it, or if he's just going to keep going with it. All right, there's something else. It's not 64, guys. We have a stage list. Yeah. Or nope. not. That's nope. cool. Smashville it is. Three, two, one, go! 
All right, game four. Rafiex down one to two versus XL97. And how is XL Shield already smaller than like? Yeah, it's his body. <laughs> I mean, it's back now, but it's that's one of those things about Rob that people really underestimate, and you don't notice it because when Rafi plays somebody like Mars or Pugwest or XL or Light or somebody who like is good at power shielding and power shields all the projectiles, because Rav, uh, Rob's projectiles are fairly predictable. Like, they have they have a pretty big wind-up on them. You can hear them. You can see them. Ooh, goes for the down air. Does not get the spike, though. Does not get the hitbox. Um, so you can power shield this stuff pretty effectively, but if you're not good at power shielding and you just regular shield with projectiles, they eat through your shield surprisingly quickly. Huh. Yeah, just that. His shield is, like, maybe the size of his chest now. That's ridiculous. Yeah, fully charged laser unpower shielded takes out a good, like, third of your shield. It's crazy. Um, and yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, unless you play against a really good Rob, or you know how to power shield well, like, you don't really pick up on. Yeah. But, uh, XL kind of running away with this game right now. Doesn't have a limit, but Rafi absolutely in a crazy position. But then again, we're in beep boop percent. Like, with, with this much rage on Rafi, beep boop will absolutely kill right now. Oh, there's the grab. And will it? XL gets out of it with an air dodge. Ooh, gets caught in a down smash coming down, though. Gonna have to burn his limit to recover thanks to that gyro. That's a rough so one. Now, yeah, that's real rough, because now he's without limit with Rafi at this much d damage and rage. Gets him with a dash attack, I think that was? Yeah, I think it was a dash attack. Yeah, there was a trade there with the gyro, but the dash attack takes it. Beep boop. Gonna be it, even without rage. Dies at a perfect 119 blast. Which I'm kind of surprised about, because I feel like if... Cloud just down air. It would obviously if his stun is still active, it doesn't make a difference. But I don't think it was there. Yeah, no, it wasn't because um, uh, Rafi read the air dodge. He yeah. did that instead of air dodging. Which the thing about air dodging people is that typically for most characters, and there are exceptions, air dodge is going to be your fastest option out of aerial hit stun. Um, like it just is a couple frames faster than even a frame one move. So like if your opponent's coming right at you, air dodge is fastest. Um, but some quick aerials, like down air, like, if they're looking for the air dodge read, that'll work. But the problem is that trying to go for that option predictively, it makes it so that if you, like, if you just get hit, if he just goes for it, you go for down air and you get hit, you'll never know if you would have been able to air dodge that or not. Like, you'll never know because the air dodge was faster, but you didn't do it. So, did I, was it true or did I have time to air dodge? Who knows? Uh, Smash That's going to be it. Smashville platform support. XL takes it. 3-1. Yep. All right. So he is moving on to Grand.